experience will reach into eternity. Sons and daughters of God, November 26th. All love that wills not let me go. I raise my worries all in thee. I give thee back the life I owe. That in thine ocean depth its flow may reach a fully be. Now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know even as also I am known. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 12 Our life work here is a preparation for the life eternal. The education begun here will not be completed in this life. It will be going forward through all eternity, ever progressing, never completed. More and more fully will be relieved the wisdom and love of God in the plan of redemption. The Saviour, as he leads his children to the fountains of living waters, will impart rich stores of knowledge, and day by day the wonderful works of God, the evidences of his power in creating and sustaining the universe, will open before the mind in new beauty. In the light that shines from the throne, mysteries will disappear and the soul will be filled with astonishment at the simplicity of the things that were never before comprehended. Now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now we know in part, but then we shall know even as also we are known. Think what it will mean to study through the eternal ages, under the personal instruction of Christ, amidst the present conflicts and temptations in this our day of probation, we are to form characters that will prepare us to obtain a life that measures with the life of God. We are to have an eye single to the glory of God and thus grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The more earnestly and diligently we seek for divine wisdom, the more firmly established we shall be in the truth. By beholding Christ, by talking of him, by beholding the loveliness of his character, we become changed, changed from glory to glory. And what is glory? Character. And he becomes changed from character to character. Thus, we see that there is a work of purification that goes on by beholding Jesus. Ellen G. White, Daily Devotions Within Hope of Eternal Life Ministry.